There are five advanced functions available within the set table rows command. In a previous tutorial, we looked at a couple of interrogation functions, contains and count. In this tutorial, we will look at three functions that manipulate data in a table, replace, delete and filter. We are using an app with some of the logic partially completed. We have a couple of input fields at the top, one for the initial city search and one specifically for the replace function. The replace function will look for a specified piece of data and then replace it with another. In the set table rows command, we need to select which table to look at, the advanced option, the column to work with and the replace function. Then we need to specify which text to search. We will use the city input field. In the replace section, we specify what text replaces any city found. Let's preview the app to see how this works. We can use Madrid as the city to look for and replace it with some text for testing. Let's look at the delete function next. As you would expect, this will search for specified text in a column and then delete those rows that contain the text. We specify what text we are looking for with the delete function again using the city input field. Preview to test and this time we will remove Madrid. Finally, we will look at the filter function. Be aware that unlike the replace and delete functions, which will modify data in your table, the filter function will only hide data not covered by the filter. In the set table rows command, we select the filter function and specify what text to look for. Preview to test again. This time we will look for entries with London as the city. If we remove London from the city field and trigger the filter again, we will see all the previous data. That concludes the tutorial on table manipulation functions.